will you hold still? This illusion requires precision, which I bah. cannot achieve. The Stalmor mage will drive Razum Dar mad. Stand here. Hold this. Everything's so exact. This one prefers more flexibility. He hopes you agree, because we must move quickly here if we are to protect the Dominion. We must find Peladil, of course. This one tracked his stinking hide here after he stole the staff of Magnus. He's the boss of the Veiled Heritage now, and he has allies here in Woodhard. Dirty traitors who conspire against Queen Irene. This we do not know yet, but Razumdar has devised the perfect way to flush these rats from their hidey holes. If they had an opportunity to assassinate the Queen, surely they would take advantage of it, yes? No, Razumdar will be the Queen instead, if this mage does his job, of course. We will go soon, so Raz must prepare. Speak to Trithane Fariel. She can tell you more about the traitors who are helping Peladil. This one would ask a favor. If the Stalmor mage turns Razumdar into a monkey, you must exact vengeance. Oh, and you would need to track down Peladil on your own. Raz hopes this will not be the case, though. Hmm. Razumdar thought the Vaisri was a clawless coward. Always going on with Prince name on this and Prince name on that. So pathetic. But he is more tricky now. All this one knows is that Peladil is near and that he has the staff of Magnus. Last time this one saw Neyman, he was still quite dead. But Peladil wouldn't drag around the prince's corpse just to make sure he gets a proper burial. Some sort of necromancy must be planned, but why? Neyman can't rule the Dominion if he is undead. You share Razumdar's distaste, yes? We must accept them, though. The Thalmor were sent to Woodhard when the Dominion was formed. This port is critical for trade, and there is concern it could be a target for enemy spies or for the Maumer. Battle Reeve or Selmo issued the orders, but Queen Irene gave her blessing. She prefers not to send the Thalmor to every city in the Dominion, but in this case, she had little choice. Even Trith and Fario agrees they are needed. Of course, wherever there is sea, there is the threat of the Sea Elves. They've sought to conquer these shores for centuries, and the rise of the Dominion has only served to provoke them. The Thalmor helped boost the city's defenses. A perfect illusion, he says, to make Razumdar look like Queen Irene. This one prefers a regular disguise, but Trithe and Fariel doubts that would suffice. You should speak to her so we can get on with this. So you're the one who's going to accompany the cat on this guabrain scheme of his. I hope you realize what you're up against. These traitors in our city have sought to stir up rebellion since the day King Camoran joined the Dominion. So you'd think, but we've never caught any of the traitors. They may not actually be Bosma at all. Our enemies are always one step ahead of us. Roman doesn't want to believe it, but I think it's obvious there's a spy among the Thalmor. No, we've gone to great pains to keep Razumdar's plan secret. The spy must believe that Iren is really here. There have been rumors that the Maoma plan to raid us, so we've put word out that the Queen has come to make sure the city's safe. Yes. Mad as the cat may be, his plan might actually work. The story is that the Queen wants to personally investigate the old Imperial underground. You'll escort her there to meet Asteril, a Thalmor officer we suspect may be a spy. Ha! The cat didn't tell you, did he? No, we can't send any guards. We don't know who we can trust. He thinks the two of you can handle it, though. I don't know if I'd call that confidence or foolhardiness, but I hope Bandar is with you either way. As soon as Sanadul gets the spell right and turns your friend into a queen. Assuming this works, you and Razumdar should leave for the Imperial Underground straight away. Oh, here we go now. It's about time.
Hmm. Very convincing. But is the illusion applied everywhere? Perhaps this one should take a moment in private to double check. Yes? There were no miscalculations, I assure you. Now excuse me, I must watch the smell of cat from my rooms. Raz looks good in this form, but then Raz always looks good. Queen Irene could maybe learn a thing or two from this one. A fair point. Raz, uh, I will keep that in mind. You have spoken with the Tree Thane, then. You understand my genius plan, yes? Yes. There we will find out the truth about this Thalmor officer, Astaril. She's quite the beauty, I'm told. But traitors are never what they seem, yes? This one is... No. I'm ready when you are. Be ready. This one is counting on you to watch his, uh, her back. Astril, is that you? Yes. Come closer, my queen. I have something for you. What is this? A gift in memory of Prince Naaman. Vice Reeve Peladil sends his regards. You will die, and the true king of Alinor will rise again. Well, that hurt. Raz will be fine. A few burns will not kill this one. But uh, for the moment, he thinks you should press on alone. You must catch Astaril and find out where Peladil is hiding. She used some kind of magic to escape, but it was not a portal, so she cannot have gone far. She must still be here, somewhere in these tunnels. Raz heard sounds of fighting. Did you catch up with Astaril? Were you able to question her about Peladil? Dark moons. If Astaril got away, 
we will have to track her down. And the Veiled Heritance is here? That is troubling. Razumdar suspected a few might have come, but he did not expect them to be here in any numbers. Hmm. Some of Razumdar's contacts warned him that the Veiled Heritance was not putting all its hopes on Prince Neyman, that they had backup plan. Neyman is dead. This must be backup plan. Possibly. If they cannot rule the Dominion, perhaps they would destroy it by attacking Valenwood. But Raz would not have thought the Heritage would muster enough manpower. Let us go. We must tell Trithe and Faria what we have learned. If what Razandar says is true, the city of Woodhearth owes you a debt. Of course, if the city's attacked and destroyed, that won't be worth much. Maybe we can prevent that. The cat said you found orders from Vicereve Peladil. Can I see them? Damn! This proves that Peladil is planning something here. Something even bigger than killing the Queen. I'm glad you brought it to light. I just hope it's not too late for us to do something about it. There's something about Peladil's orders. The reference to Astral seems strange, and a Roman still refuses to believe she betrayed us. Either way, Astral's the key to unraveling this mess. We need to question her and find out what she knows. Well, if she hasn't realized we're onto her, we might be able to catch her by surprise. She might be down at the Thalmor residence right now. I assume a Roman will want to be there when you confront her. The three of you should go quickly, though. Even if Astoril's fled the city, you might be able to find some clues about Peladil's plans in her quarters. Let's hope you find something, because otherwise we don't have much to go on. Not much, really. I heard he just followed Prince Naaman around like a little lost puppy. Now he runs off with Naaman's body, steals the staff of Magnus, and takes charge of the Veld Heritance? It seems this puppy might have a bite after all. is preposterous. Astral has risked her life for the Dominion more times than I can count. She is one of my best officers. I refuse to believe this irresponsible slander until I have spoken with her myself. You must understand, one doesn't become a Thalmor agent until their loyalty is proven beyond question. 
If Astral confesses, or if we find substantial proof, I will admit I was wrong. Until then, I remain extremely skeptical. This is Thalmor business, and I am going to the Thalmor residence to confront Astral myself. You are welcome to accompany me if you choose. You see, it's clear that Astral has been dead for some time, so she cannot have been the one you saw in the Imperial Tunnels. <laughs> I told you, say what you will about the Thalmor, but we do not have traitors in our midst. Her death troubles me greatly, but the integrity of the Thalmor is of greater concern, and I am pleased to be proven right in that respect. With that concern behind us, we can finally start searching for the true source of this treachery. Undoubtedly, it was the same person that assumed her likeness and attempted to assassinate the queen, uh, Razumdar. Speaking of the cat, it seems he may have found something. A hidden passage connected to another section of the Imperial Underground, no doubt. We should investigate. There could be some useful evidence down here. Let us look closely before moving on. Asteril had a sister? A twin, perhaps? That would explain much. Raz suspects these tunnels will reveal the rest. It's open, my friend. We are not out of this yet.
My favorite people. The very faces of my failure. And now you've tracked me down just to watch me die? You're just like my sister and the rest of the Thalmor. No sympathy whatsoever. <laughs> Funny you should ask. I was wondering the same thing. Then I realized he lured me here so his assassins could kill me. This is my reward for my loyal service. A blade in my gut. And a nice cold tomb. Planning? Oh. He's well past that point. As we speak, his armies are storming the shore, up at Seaside Sanctuary. Once they've got a foothold there, they'll conquer all of Valenwood. And there's not a damn thing you can do about it. Of course not. They're just one prong of the mighty trident with which Peladil will smite the Dominion. He signed a treaty with the Malma. And with the Staff of Magnus, he's going to raise an army of undead. Yes, your days are numbered all right. <sighs> it's simple enough. The Sea Elves have always coveted these shores. If they help Peladil dismantle the Dominion, he's agreed to give them Valenwood. It's not like these damn Bosma have done anything other than cause us trouble. You mean elsewhere? Far as I know, Paladil doesn't even care. He just wants the Somerset Isles. I don't even think he wants to rule them himself. As long as they're ruled by someone other than Naaman's sister. Of course. Who better to lead an undead army than an undead prince? And if Peladil brings him back, Naaman will be bound by the Vice Reeve's will. No longer will Peladil need to worry about the prince making bad decisions. Ha! <sighs> Peladil says he's under no illusions about that fact. But he still gets rather glossy eyed when speaking about Naaman. I suspect he still harbors some hope that the prince will play a role in the future he has envisioned. <sighs> it's simple enough. The sea elves. You mean elsewhere? <sighs> Irene is a false queen. And the Aldmeri Dominion is a pathetic joke. Nothing can change that fact, even Peladil turning on me. I'd gladly sacrifice my life to bring about the Dominion's downfall. It means my life was worth something. Having her as a twin was torture. While she climbed the ranks of the Thalmor, I was perceived as a failure. When Peladil recruited me, it was my turn to shine. I have no regrets. <laughs> In the end, Astrel and I both lost our lives for the cause. Just leave me to die. I wouldn't accept your help and you'd be better off not offering. It's too late. He can't be stopped.
Razendar explained how we were fooled by Laryl. I wish I had time to show proper gratitude. But he also told me that an army of Mawamur, led by Vice Reeve Peladil, is making landing on our shores. Is this true? Damn. Honestly, I rather hoped he misheard. I suppose that's rarely the case. Very well, then. I will muster the city's defenses, but there is only so much we can do. I'm certainly glad you're here. You and Razumdar may be our best hope. You should get to Seaside Sanctuary as soon as possible. If we strike the Maoma hard enough there, we might be able to drive them back out to sea before they get a foothold on the shore. I'll send anyone I can spare, but the city comes first. There is an outpost at the sanctuary with a few soldiers, if it hasn't been overrun. Go through the Serpent's Grotto and look for Major Serenway. She's the commanding officer. <laughs>